Hello, hello, welcome to our Sustainable Architecture Animated Glossary. Now we are going to take a look at another important term related to the subject that is the visible light transmittance. So what is the visible light transmittance? It is a property that we have in our glazing that is like this. The smaller the visible light transmittance, less light you will capture in your spaces. Sometimes this is something that you will desire, sometimes not. Sometimes you want to have the most light as possible. But but when you capture more light, it's very likely that you are going to capture more heat as well. So understanding how to deal with these concepts are crucial to every sustainable project. Here I'm just giving the example of the VLT, right? Visible light transmittance. And here you can see a landscape and these people look into this environment. And we can see that we are decreasing the visible light transmittance and people cannot look at the outside, right? So it's decreasing, people cannot look. They can can't recognize because now the visible light transmittance is too small and you need to bring the balance between visuals and light balance in your space okay so maybe something like this usually less than 0.4 is something bad so be sure that you analyze this when you are developing your project okay i hope you have enjoyed this concept related to visible light transmittance and now you have three options actually the first one is check out our sustainable architecture animated glossary the link is in the description the second option is go back to our previous videos of the glossary because we have videos related to U-value is another important property on glazings or keep watching our next video because we are always bringing new content on this sustainable architecture animated glossary and I'm sure that you don't want to miss it. So I see you there.